Welcome to this video on setting up a static general step in Abacus. Today, we're sharing 13 essential tips to help you optimize your settings and achieve convergence. If you're working with the static general solver, stay tuned, these tips will make a huge difference. First, let's introduce the five key parameters that you need to adjust for the best performance. 1. Time period for the entire step. 2. Maximum number of increments. 3. Size of the first increment. 4. Minimum increment size. 5. Maximum increment size. Abacus automatically adjusts increment sizes to achieve convergence and reduce computational cost but understanding how to tweak these settings will give you better control. Please note that these three values are based on time, so the ratios of them to the time period show their size. Why do these settings matter? Your goal is twofold. 1. Maximize the chances of convergence. 2. Minimize computational cost. Now, let's dive into the tips. Tip 1. Time period. If your problem involves rate-dependent materials, like those with rate-dependent materials and damping, make sure to enter the actual time period of the process. Tip 2. For simplicity. If your problem is rate-independent, you can set the time period to 1, easy, right? Tip 3. Maximum number of increments. Always set this value higher than the expected number of increments to avoid this error during the analysis. Tip 4. Automatic Incrementation Unless you need equal-sized increments for a specific reason, stick with automatic incrementation. This reduces computation time and improves convergence chances. Tip 5. Initial Increment Size For most nonlinear problems, setting the initial increment size to 5% to 10% of the time period works well. Tip 6. Larger Initial Increments For slightly nonlinear problems, go for larger initial increments to save time on computations. Tip 7. Smaller Initial Increments If you encounter the following error, or if the first increment requires multiple cutbacks, reduce the initial increment size. Tip 8. Optimize when things are going smoothly. If Abacus increases the increment size by 50%, or if the first few steps take fewer than 5 iterations, consider increasing the initial increment size. This can cut down on computation time. Tip 9. Minimum Increment Size Reduce the minimum increment size if you hit this error related to small increments. Tip 10. Maximum Increment Size if you're encountering one of the following errors in the middle of the solution, and previous tips haven't helped, change the maximum increment size. Tip 11. Increase maximum increment size. For slightly nonlinear problems where you expect smooth progress, set the maximum increment size up to the full time period to speed things up. Tip 12. Use the job monitor. Check the job monitor during your simulation. It provides valuable insights that can help you adjust your settings for better performance. We'll cover how to use this feature in detail in future videos. Tip 13. Fixed Incrementation If you need all increments to be of equal size, choose Fixed Incrementation and manually set the size. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment below. Also, be sure to visit our website for more related products and resources. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.